What is going on guys? Scampsido here bringing you a League of Legends commentary and today I'm playing Lux AD Carry for the You Choose I Play series. Um, and if you don't know what that is, uh, it's basically, it's pretty self-explanatory really. You Choose I Play, You Choose a lane uh, and a champion and a playstyle and I play it if I like the idea or if it gets a lot of suggestions. Uh, so Lux AD carry was suggested by someone last time and it was quite a while ago I did this and if you're wondering why I haven't uploaded um, video in a while it's because I've been oops sorry uh, it's because this mic is just wait sorry my microphone is messing up it's because I've been on a cruise in um, three countries in a couple of cities uh, uh, we're gonna get two kills here, thanks to Rengar. I lost my point here. Uh, I was trying to say that I've been in three countries, uh, and the boat started in Italy, in uh, Venezia, uh, which is like a city on water. Uh, if you haven't heard of that, you could, you probably heard of that, but Google it if you haven't. It's pretty cool. Uh, the boat started there, and it went to. Uh, we were in several cities in uh, Greece uh, and Croatia and uh, some of those cities were um, if I remember right uh, Mykonos Mykonos I don't know how I don't know how you pronounce that in English that's how you pronounce it in Swedish but uh, Mykonos was an island um, and uh, if I can uh, Corfu, I think Corfu was one island or one uh, city place, whatever. I'm not good at geography, but uh, and then it went to. Uh, this is not in order, by the way. It started in Venezia, but I can't remember the ori order. Uh, we were in uh, Bari, Bari, uh, and then one other city that I can't, or two other cities. One I can remember, and one I can't. Um, I used to call it if you have if you watched uh, Lord of the Rings um, there's a city called Minas Tirith it's like a, I think it's called or I think it's the city I'm thinking of but it's like a everything everything's white in that city like it's a bunch of buildings and everything's white and the, so that it kind of reminds of this city because everything was white <laughs> all the buildings were white all the houses and it was up on um, a mountain so you had to go with like a like a big freaking lift or like a, a thing that went in the air I don't know what you call it shit my English skills are not very good right now but uh, um, I was very scared uh, during that trip because I'm afraid of heights but you had to go up on that mountain uh, in a lift thingy and uh, yeah, so uh, I can't remember what was it called. Damn it! I need to look it up right now. Wait, I'm gonna Google it. Sorry. Costa Cruz was the name of the ship. Costa Cruises. I mean Costa Fascinosa. Costa Cruz is the company. Costa Cruises. I mean, um. So I'm gonna Google and just find all the the destinations here so I actually found all the destinations here in order I think uh, so it starts in Vene Venice as I said then Bari, Corfu, Mykonos and then Santorini which was the the city that looked kinda like or was it Mykonos I can't remember but I think it was Santorini that looked a, a bit like um, some Lord of the Rings city and then it was Dubrovnik where they actually filmed uh, Game of Thrones um, if you've watched Game of Thrones you probably know of uh, King's Landing where King Joffrey or um, the kings all the kings live and where basically where the castle is basically where everything is done where everything happens in Game of Thrones um, they are in King's Landing a lot. Oops, I messed up my mic again. Sorry, uh, but they are in King's Landing a lot. That's where um, 
the king lives as I said and they actually filmed that in Dubrovnik and I didn't know that until I came there and saw it was actually pretty random because I saw a sign uh, of an audio tour somewhere uh, which you which guided you through um, where they feel all, all the filming locations and things like that I guess uh, and it was weird because that was the only sign that was like it was like one sign uh, to a place where you could buy an audio tour um, and that was the only thing that I could f that gave me the information that they filmed Game of Thrones in Dubrovnik uh, so that was pretty weird but I guess a lot of tourists are attracted there because of that check this play out Hecarim is really fed we're just gonna I think we're gonna yeah we're gonna kill them and uh, unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to kill Leona because uh, Corky is gonna come and chase me down look at this blitzcrank almost kills me or hooks me or hit hooks him so he can get one less basic attack and if I didn't chill there he would have killed me with his ult so bad blitzcrank stupid blitzcrank almost killed me there if it wasn't for my shield and for my luck so um, you can actually leave a comment if you have watched Game of Thrones um, and I can actually show you some pictures now of the uh, some uh, that I took um, from the time we were in Dubrovnik, and it was pretty unfortunate because we couldn't actually go up. I wanted to go up on the on the the castle and watch it from there. Uh, it cost some money, but uh, we could have done it if we had more time. And we actually had the time, but uh, but my family wanted to be in like ha they wanted to have so much time over to be sure that we uh, would catch the boat and uh, they wouldn't leave us. So we had like half an hour when we came came to the boat before you had to be there. Um, so we could have gone up there, but that I wanted that, but it was quite a mi misunderstanding as well. So. It was unfortunate. I've been there twice actually. I was there like one or two years ago because I went on this cruise um, a year ago as well or two. I can't remember. But uh, and I was in the, the city and I'm not sure if I if I watched Game of Thrones back then. But um, I didn't know. Uh, I hadn't heard anything about that they uh, filmed uh, the series there. But it was, I was surprised when I f when I saw that sign. That was that was just crazy. Then I then I found I find I, f bleh, I, f I can't even speak. I found uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot where I could uh, connect my phone and um, and just Google the places where they uh, they filmed it because and you know Game of Thrones is like supposed to be like medieval times like long time ago and uh well not long time ago but to make it look kind of it looks kind of old look at this ex escape this is just sick poor hacker man uh but it's supposed to look kind of old and uh you know knights and all that so uh, they've done a lot in uh, computers as well uh, as they do with uh, every series basically they they film somewhere it, it doesn't look exactly like it does in real life some places look like that but I mean the the castle in the actual series uh, it looks like they have um, kind of lifted it up so it's a bit higher and there's a big uh, tower in the middle of everything as well where is uh, that isn't or which isn't uh, in the in the actual town in real life but of course they will make enhancements and things to make it look better um, Hecarim and everyone is gonna go for a crazy turret dive here to kill me in an attempt to kill me uh, and they're gonna succeed fuck uh, but Hecarim is gonna be really lucky he's gonna get away here I think but still we're gonna win the team fight um, and they're chasing Hecarim can they kill him no, but a wild corky appears from nowhere. I have no idea what he's doing. He's flashing. He's he's walking in different directions. He's wasting his heal like that would help. No, it wouldn't. Corky, you stupid dumb shit. Um, in top lane, 
farm is just stacking up and rumble is pushing the turret uh akali and me is gonna chase her down i'm just taking the farm and but she's gonna be able to kill him and in bot lane they're dying like flies and i'm gonna uh push the turret here because i can see that their team or not their team but oh remember this i actually use my heal here which I thought is it really necessary, but I thought okay, I'm not gonna I'm gonna use it because so many times I think that okay I might be able to get out of this without using my summoner, so it might be a waste. But look at this. If I had my heal a shield the heal my god I can't speak. If I had my heal here, I definitely would have won this fight because I could have healed. Then I would have one extra second to shield myself, and I would get everything off cooldown, and I would have been able. To, I don't need. I don't even need cooldowns. I could have just used my auto attacks. I forgot that I was 80 carry lux. Keep forgetting that. Uh, it's quite weird, but it actually works. It's pretty decent. But if I would have done something differently there, I would have tried to not use my heal because, or in the, not use my heal in the first situation because I don't know if that was uh, quite necessary. Um. So Akali is gonna go bananas here, trying to turret dive Leona. I have no idea. She's just wasting everything to kill a tanky support. Uh, she's gonna go down, and it's gonna result me in it's gonna result in me dying as well, thanks to her. What a bitch! Uh, but they're gonna waste like ten ulti, so it's it's okay. It's it's alright. Um, minions are pu or they're pushing, uh, but they're not gonna get a turret. Which is good. We're gonna win a team fight here. And as you can hear, I'm tired. I am yawning like a uh, like a dog. Look at that. Still, I mean, what's good about AD carry Lux is in early game your passive is still quite useful. Um, I mean, it's it's on your basic attacks, and you buy basic attacks or. An AD carry focuses on basic attacks and I mean the passive enhances your basic attacks and you will spam your abilities to get that uh, extra stack of passive and you'll get more damage on your basic attack and more and more. And you got a shield as well. CC is good for an AD carry so Lux has the binding. Um, she doesn't have any escapes and that's what kind of makes her bad and she doesn't really have any AD things but she's still probably better than most AP carries played as AD and that's the point I'm trying to make so don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video peace